Hello, everybody. We're back again with another stream. It's uh, It's been, what, two nights now? I've been itching to play the game, and I'm excited to be back with y'all. If you've been watching, you know that we've started Season 2. We're not off to the hottest start. Um, we blew out Murray State in our first game of the season. We lost a little bit of a grudge match with Niagara. Um, we were trying to get a little bit of revenge on Jeffrey Restrepo for committing to Niagara over us. He didn't play great, but uh, the overall result didn't work out for us. And then we uh, picked up a little bit of an unexpected loss to Brown. So, not the best start to the season. Max has been playing great throughout, but the rest of the roster hasn't. But now we're into Thanksgiving tournament play. Uh, I always try to put a tournament on the schedule um, every single season. One, because... Well, primarily just because it's fun. I like playing tournaments, potentially winning a trophy. So I signed us up for the FIU Holiday Classic. Um, but it's turned into the Alaska Holiday Classic. So I expected to be playing in South Florida. But instead, we've been playing at University of uh, Alaska Anchorage, which uh, honestly is way cooler. So I'm happy we're doing that. We blew, we absolutely blew out. I think it might be our biggest win of all time, um, Mississippi Valley State um, in the semifinals. We just smacked them. They didn't have a lot of talent. But as you can see, the scoring numbers were pretty even across the board. I think everybody scored except for Leo Nelson. Um, but we're going to make sure we get him on the score sheet this game. And then if we look at Mississippi Valley State stats, you can see, I mean, they scored 38 points for the game. So nothing, obviously, to write home about. They're going to want to flush that one. But huge win for us. Got us to 500. We have an opportunity to go above 500 for the first time since the opener um, tonight. So we're definitely going to be looking to do that. We're playing uh, VMI, Virginia Military Institute. So should be a pretty exciting game. I just took a look at their roster. Let's see if I can pull it up for us again here. They are not... I know they're in the SOCON now, but they're not in the SOCON in the game. I think... Is it the Atlantic Sun? It's not the Atlantic Sun. It's the Big South. Yeah, so if we look at VMI, it looks like Roshan Sochu. It's pretty much the only guy they really got. Vincent President. That's a cool name. He might be able to do some stuff too. Both of them. Sochu can shoot it a little bit. Honestly, so can President. I'm definitely not overlooking these guys, but we definitely should win this game. So, excited to see what uh, what we can do here in the championship game. See if we can bring home a trophy. If you remember last season, we won our holiday tournament. Uh, we ended up beating San Diego and Cal to take home the Cal Invitational. So that was a ton of fun, beating a Power 5 school for, uh, I think, the only time in the series. Um, they were horrible. Um, like 1-6 and six at the time we played them. But I'm still counting that as a Power 5 win. But fun opportunity for us here tonight. Um, and then once we play this game, we'll take a short little break. I'll come back. I'm going to play Oakland. Um, and then maybe we might even play Michigan. We'll see. So take a look at the, uh, roster real quick. Cause I'm thinking about potentially working in Galloway at some point. He hasn't played any minutes. He's not on the active roster. We'd have to pull him up. Um, and then getting Schroeder and the other Schroeder brother in a few games. He played a little bit last year, so we're going to try to work him in there. Chris Stone and Rashawn Iguodala are both going to redshirt, so we won't see them this year. But I'm going to try to work, you know, some of the, the preseason, I shouldn't say preseason, non-conference games. Like, we should expect to beat um, University of Arkansas Little Rock, and that's actually where we saw... Um, I'm blanking on his name now. Tremaine Galloway transfer from, so we're definitely going to put him in the in the lineup for that game. He won't start or anything like that, but he'll come off the bench. Feel free to say what's up if you're in the chat. Always love hearing from y'all. 
love the engagement. But yeah, with that said, I've talked enough. Let's get the game underway. Let's see, they're putting us in the home jerseys. I'm good with that. And when we get into this game, you'll see some accessory changes with uh, some of our new freshmen. I went through and worked through that. Um, get them looking a little bit more the way I want them to. It didn't change anybody's numbers. I was originally going to change Dave Rowe's number, uh, but the 33 just grew on me. I mean, it's not a point guard's number at all, but I'm cool with it. So if y'all are cool with it, then let's just keep rolling with it. VMI is 3-1 and one on the season. Probably should have looked at who they have played. I think they beat Chicago State in the semifinals, so that's nothing to write home about. That's like basically playing a Division III school, if you know anything about Chicago State basketball. Um, unfortunately, I do as a uh, previous resident of Chicago. But let's see what they got. I mean, 3-1 and one is, you know, it depends on who they've played, but still good. I'm interested to see what Sochu kind of brings. President's going to start two okay at, at the two. There we go. Another one tip. Also. Come on, Ricky. Yes, sir. Big make. Man, he's shooting it at a way better clip this year. His teams are starting to figure out our press, if you guys remember that. From the uh, the last episode. Don't go reaching, Leo. Don't go reaching. Oh, man. Got to get that rebound. Bad foul by Seth. That's all good. He's got to play smart from here on out. No more dumb fouls. Got a little mismatch down low. See if VMI tries to take advantage. All right, 55. Bangs one through. I think that's Sochu. Oh, Ricky taking a contested one. He made the first. Got a little confidence. Get this VMI team work the ball. Yep, Sochu is 55. President? Is it President? President? I wonder. Max wants to be guarded. VMI should have scouted him better. If you give him space. Also, I think I touched on this. I don't know. I'm going to repeat myself. I messed with... Some of the plays, huh? I don't know if they're coming through. Ricky. Oh, another opportunity. Can't get it to go. I guess the playbook isn't... The updated playbook isn't coming through. But... There's one slot that we're not even using. Basically, oh, Ricky got absolutely denied. Because the play is completely broken and I just haven't gotten around to fixing it. I really wanted 
there was like a four wide stack that I really liked. I was like, well, this is probably like as close to modern basketball as exists in this game. Ricky again. Ah, one for four now. But every single play in that playbook didn't work. And we're having a tough time rebounding against these guys. That's not something I expected. Tough matchup. Oh. They gave him the, the bucket, unfortunately. All right. Ricky's missed enough shots. It's time to bring in uh, some of the freshmen. I think we've been overdoing it on the threes early. Definitely been overdoing it on the threes. Oh my gosh. Another block. They don't give it to him this time. But this has been kind of a pathetic start for the Eagles. Very lethargic. Okay, let's see if we can turn that around now. Oh! All right. Finally getting that fast break going. Let's see if we uh, can dial up the pressure a little bit. Got to get Drew involved. All right. Oh my goodness. We're calling timeout. This has been unacceptable. I've got a lot of things I want to emphasize, but we'll go with ball control because I don't like the turnovers at all. We'll keep the same group out there because I like this this group. That it's a veteran group. They should be able to get it right. Well, I should say it's not a veteran group. There we go. Pulled another three, but Drew managed to tip it in. That's what we need. I'll put Seth back in the game. We'll put Seth and we'll put Ricky back in the game just for some veteran kind of decision making, I'll say. I think Raynell has been putting them up. Maybe a little too much. Oh, right now, still in. So apparently, we didn't sub in Seth. Oh. That's why we tried. Calling another timeout. Can't have that. 
Freshman, you're going to the bench. Oh, Leo. Drew with the take. Oh, I thought he was going to get an and one. That's what we need to do, though. We need to get him more involved. There we go. Goes one to two from the line. Oh my, that was a, that was a really nice lay. Who was that? Oh, Sochu. Man, he's good. He's really good. Maybe we'll uh, have to adjust our defensive settings. There we go, Seth. Yeah, what's uh Let's see if we can just double him and uh rush up the pressure. We got Seth on him. He's got the quickness to be able to hang. If we have to go to Dakari, maybe we go to Dakari. There we go. Big hit for Ricky. Just probing, looking for the weakness. Trying to figure out this zone defense. There we go. Mr. Dave Rowe, ladies and gentlemen. And now we are on top. I think that's the first time today. There we go. Dave with the finish. Let's go. It's a great take. Nice finish. I don't know who that was inside, but. Guard him. Offensive three seconds. That's a turnover. Let's go. It's a dumb turnover. You can't be doing that. All right. We finally got...
There we go. Ricky makes another one. He's letting it fly tonight. It's working. Oh, Seth reached. All right, that's two. Okay, we're pulling him. Dakari's going in his first minutes of the night. Big opportunity, Dakari. Mr. Cool himself. That release is so weird. But it goes in. It goes in. All right, we're going to keep rolling with this uh, bench unit for the time being. Probably got to work in Phillip at some point. I know he hasn't seen the court. Try to get JC some minutes too. It's hard. I like our whole roster. I mean, we're not loaded or anything, but I feel like a lot of guys can do a lot of different things. And It's a fairly even team. Felt like I rushed that one, but Ricky made it anyways. He's on a heater now. Won't be a three, but... And suddenly, we've pulled away with it. Up double digits. Over the back. All right, they got to bring in they got to bring their stud back in. Substitution on the court. Can't do anything without him. Y'all going to guard Rick? Oh. There we go. Ricky! Oh, I thought he was going to bang that one on the fast break. Man, Ricky, don't stand there and try to take the charge. Foul him hard. All right. Phillip's getting an opportunity. Dave, oh, trying to get that kick out. There we go. It's a missed lay. Dakari, no, almost airballed it. Thought I could get like a little more of a floater animation. Just force it out of Sochu's hands. Force everybody else to beat us. If that's what happens, great. Oh, I missed layup. We were due.
Hey, had four guys on him. Philip probably should have just shot faked. There we go, Dave. Here we go, here comes the double. He just dribbles right around it. Can't make the jumper though. Oh! I don't know how foul didn't get called there. Alright. Let's make some subs. Philip hasn't been making the plays like I've hoped. Why are we... Okay, I didn't even realize we were playing with... Uh, cool at center. Alright, hold on. We're going to take a quick break. I will be right back. All right, thanks y'all for holding tight. I thought my uh, camera was paused, so <laughs> you guys probably saw me and heard me in the background. But uh, I just had to check on my dog, and uh, not to take it away from basketball, but I'm, I'm smoking a uh, smoked salmon on my smoker, so I got to check on that. So I'm going to have to pause in about another 10 minutes and head out there and probably take it off the grill, but uh, I'll be back in a second when I have to do that. But for now, we're good. So make sure I have my timer here. So I don't oversmoke my salmon. But uh, yeah, that's uh, besides playing basketball with y'all, that's uh, probably one of my passions right there. It's cooking. So love doing it. I don't know if anybody in the uh, chat is interested, but I got a, uh, a great smoked salmon recipe for you. Leo, no, can't get it to go. Is that going to be us? That's going to be us. 
All right, we get it back. All right, we can get a pick. Drew gets fouled. We got to try to get him involved. I feel like sometimes we can get too guard oriented and then uh The guy some guy this the guy some people say is the better Schroeder kind of gets frozen out. So, we got to make sure we keep our best players involved. Oh my goodness. Did that count? Man, he's good. That was Sochu. Sochu's good. I'm going to have to schedule these guys next year just to see. I don't know if he's a senior or not. To see... Like, how... I don't know. Good he is again. <laughs> that was a stupid way to say that. We're rolling with this lineup here. What's Can we see play summary? I want to see if that counted. Yeah, it did. Jeez. Great shot. All right, let's see if we can uh, throw a little confusion at him. A little matchup 1-3-1. One, one. Oh, Ricky coming up with the rebound amongst the trees. Ricky from downtown. Ricky's on fire. Man, I wish it was like 2K where, you know, you light up with takeover or whatever. I guess this is 2K, but like the new 2Ks. Where you get the little fire going. There we go. Leo. Out in front of the break. Oh! Ho, ho! I don't know why Max attempted that right with somebody on his back. But he flushes the reverse. That was sick. There we go. Just a little simple power slam. He wasn't getting lucky twice. All right. Go with a little 3-2 zone. This is something that we haven't really brought out too often. Sochu gets the, the bad roll off the basket. We haven't been getting the ball down low. Drew. Stop trying to take the charge. Go up and contest. It was a bad pass from Drew. There was a, uh, a cutting Nelson. Drew, little turnaround, makes it. Too good. Too skilled. He's such a skilled big. I mean, I, it's, I have a hard time even calling him a big because... There we go. Ricky coming up with another board. Max pulling 
one from deep. There we go, Leo. Finishing it up. I think that's his first points of the day. We should have had him like three possessions ago if uh, Drew could have thrown a better pass. How can you back somebody down in the paint? I was about to shoot. So dumb. So, so dumb. And better news, though, we've opened up a pretty nice lead. And we're up almost 17. Oh, was trying for the alley oop. Oh, now Drew can't finish. There we go. That was easy. Good things happen when you enter the ball in the post. I should really be forcing us to do it every time. Max throws down some sweet dunks. They're not going to give us the points there, unfortunately. That was, that was deserved. Oh. True. Oh. Oh, how do you not get that rebound, Leo? Man, our bigs have not had the best game. I'm starting to get frustrated. But at the end of the day, We all know who's in control and who's probably screwing up their inputs. All right. Let's actually try to run some actions. There we go. 
Took him three tries, but eventually Drew got one to go. We're going to keep going to him. I, we can't not. I mean, he's our second best player. All right. Doing a full-blown sub here. Some guys getting in the, for the first time tonight. Good to see. There we go, JC. Nice cut. Points of emphasis. It's just defense. Keep it basic. There we go. Yes, sir. Dakari making plays on the fast break. Here we go. Forcing the double. Oh, Jalen. Okay. When I built him, I, I wasn't trying to make him fly like that. We're almost doubling him up now. VMI had a hot start, but there we go. The double. Another double. That's got to be our ball. Yep. I like this whole double teaming their best player, especially when he's like their best player, but he's still not that good. Ah, oh, JC. Way to go for the board, though. I like to see my guards rebound. All right. Got to pause. Got to go check on my, uh, my brisket. Or sorry, no, my my uh, brisket's next. My salmon. So, hold on, we'll be uh, we'll be right back.
All right, y'all, I'm back. Glad to be back. The salmon's looking good. I appreciate your guys' patience. Looks like we got a message in the chat. I think that's spam. But, all right, we're back at it. All right. Hold on. I got to get my setup adjusted here so I'm comfortable. If you guys see a puppy in the background. There we go, Philip. And one. It's my if you see a puppy in the background, that's my golden doodle, honey. She's just chilling. Love the energy, Philip. You're earning yourself some more minutes. I want to play him so bad. Even if he's not ready. There we go. I like that energy inside. He gave us good minutes last year when we needed him. And I think he's got... I mean, I, I know he's got crazy potential because I created him. Not crazy, but like for this roster, very good potential. So he needs to play. And at that size with the shooting ability, he has good shooting ability. Putting that up. Despite the miss, I like that shot. And that was a horrible shot. We got a good group. That was a nice dunk. We got a good group in terms of... Uh, Here we go, Phil. Oh, just can't get it to drop. Phil, oh, he makes that one. Right as I. I see some bigger Luca in him. Obviously, Mac level Luca. He's probably not going to play in the league, but. That was a great box out by Monk. I don't know how I feel about the pull up on the fast break. It's not what I was trying to do. Oh my god, that was that a shot? That was a pass that went through. Oh my god. That's pretty sick actually. Oh, a little over the back. All right, let's make some adjustments real quick. Actually, we're calling timeout. If we can. Let's give Cool some more minutes. Let's 
get Monk out of the game. Let's give Ricky a few more minutes. Let's give Leo a few more minutes. Let's just give Drew a few more minutes here late. I know this is a blow, but I, I still want to make sure we're playing some of our better guys. Letting them get some more experience. I mean, obviously with Ro being a freshman, Cool being a freshman. Drew's only a sophomore. Granted, a sophomore that played on a tournament team, but... I like Rick going up with that one, no hesitation, but he's going to struggle amongst the trees. That was a bad pass. VMI can't make us pay. Oh, Drew gets fouled inside. I like him going right back up with that. Staying aggressive. He's missed a lot of free throws tonight. Not his best night shooting the ball. I hate that. Over the back. Man, what a blowout. Looks like we're going to run away with this. Uh... Alaska Holiday Classic. I don't know if this is supposed to be like the... Uh... What, what was it called back in the day? The Top of the World Classic or... It had some cool name. The Alaska Shootout. Oh, Rick. Feeling it. He's feeling it. What a game for him. Coming out party for his senior year. Now we're just trying to run up the score on them. Guys are just trying to get shots. We're not running any offense. Drew's trying to put up threes. They're not going down. He has struggled to shoot here. We're going to dribble it out now. This game's over. That's a trophy. We'll take that all day. Love to see it. Your final score, Eastern Michigan 73. The VMI Cadets. 46. So, let's take a look at our stats. Ricky was 16. Dave Rowe had 14. Max had 11. Drew had 9. Really bad shooting night. Didn't shoot it well from the line either. 
Raynell had five. Philip had five. Didn't shoot it well. Seth had three. Everybody scored. Everybody scored. Let's take a look. Sochu still had 22, but I thought we did a good job containing him. He didn't shoot it well. Not a very efficient night. We really made life miserable for Vincent President. Five points, two of 16 shooting. Just a good performance from, from the squad. So that gets us above 500 on the season. Let's send to this next week. We got some recruiting to do. We also got some emails to check, apparently. Oakland, we should beat Oakland. Cool. My thoughts, too. Recruits. So if you haven't seen the board, this is what the board's looking like. We got some guys that are pretty interested, but we're looking to bring in two shooting guards. One uh, one senior, one one junior college, just to kind of space them out so we're not recruiting two shooting guards in the season anymore after this point. Um, and then uh, a small forward as well. So in terms of recruiting, I'm really liking Joe Attaway. I think we got a shot at him too. So I'm going to keep recruiting him really hard. I think uh, potentially we should invite him to campus. Well, it looks like all the coaches are going to be getting involved in that one. I also like Herman Johnson as a backup option. Um, I don't think we're going to get him, but he's pretty solid across the board if you just peeped his ratings at all. But I think Leo Wren is probably a more realistic backup option. We're second behind Clemson. Um, I think we got a chance. We've been gaining ground on Clemson too, so I don't think they're actively recruiting him. So we're going to invite him to campus as well. Also make sure that we're emailing him. I'm sure coach is calling him. As for our other guys, we'll make sure we're sending emails. But I don't want to do too much beyond that because I would like to save, well, Ernesto Rad Radford is probably our number one JUCO recruit. I really like his game. So maybe we'll invite him to campus too if it's going to let us invite all three. And then... If we got the opportunity to go visit Chauncey Webster, we've been on him since last year. Let's go visit him at home. We'll send the assistance. All right, we've almost spent all our points for the week. So we'll avoid doing anything else in recruiting. Probably that, that wasn't the most focused recruiting effort, but we're here to play games more than we are to recruit. All right, Oakland. Let's see what they got first. They are in the mid-continent. Yeah, not a very good team. Quan Sneed, maybe we got to worry about him a little bit. Jarrell Eaton, but I'm not too worried about Oakland. They are one and two on the young season. That's a pretty small sample size. Lost to UNLV. That makes sense. Beat Lamar. Lost to New Mexico State. So everybody good they played. They've lost to. I think we're quite a bit better than them. I'm looking forward to going on the road and potentially getting a dub.
Looks like the Magic got the number one pick. It's probably old news. I like this court. I know Oakland at one point was asking the NCAA if they could put like chain nets up, which I think is pretty badass. I like how they got the uh, hoops hanging from the ceiling too. That's super cool. You don't see that anywhere else besides college. What is the the logo right on the seat of their pants? It looks like they uh, they shit themselves. <laughs> All right, we lost that tip. Lack of focus. Oh, started off with the big max dunk. We're going to go right into the press. Wow, quick trigger. Seth. No dice on that one. It's hard to see in the paint. Drew. Oh, I can't finish. Good take, though, getting the foul. It's getting the bonus early. Let's make our free throws today, too. Oh, slightly early for once. It's not something you see from him a whole lot. All right. Oakland getting the put back. Ricky forcing it early, but coming off the great game, we'll let that happen. Could have been a foul. Nope, that's a miss. Nope, he made it. Poor release. I thought that was a really bad release. Oh, trying for the alley-oop. Not actually trying, just had my finger on the post-up button and tried to pass. Sometimes that ends up in an alley-oop. All right, stays with Oakland. Wow. Pull up right in Max's face. Oh, Drew elevating. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Wide open look. Can't knock it down. And we get the foul call. That's two. Alright, I think it's a I think it's a bear. I mean obviously.
Max? Big dunk! Nice awareness from Dave Rowe. Really nice awareness. He knew he had Leo streaking. Oh, Leo trying to time it up, fouled them. All right, we're making some changes, going small. It's all tied up now. Might have to get away from... Going small in a hurry. There we go. Got the wide open three. Coming off the post touch. That's what you like to see. Oh, yeah, Seth with the hammer. Yeah, if we can consistently turn post touches into threes, I'd be happy if we never scored a post up. Point guard knifing through the lane. That was nice. Trying to get to set to begin with. I just fat fingered the button. Max inside. Can't finish. Got desperate on that possession. All right, we probably need to get away from this going small here. Ricky, wide open, bang. Or not. I mean, Max can play big. He's 6'5". So, he definitely can play big. Max is exhausted. Ricky's still got a lot in the tank. Let's bring Drew back in. But keep rolling with this group, otherwise.
All right, try to run some some actions. Drew can't make a bucket to save his life. Last two games. Just been off. See where we can get somebody open. Drew, once again, can't get the deep shot to go. We're trying to force it to him. It's just not working. He had a nice dunk earlier. Ricky's just got to hold that follow through for a second longer. Keep trying to run. I think they gave that to us. That was beautiful. That's exactly what you got to do. That was... Drew's making him pay around the basket. When he's on, that's what he does. When he's off, he settles for turnarounds and all finesse stuff, but... When he's on, he forces it down low. Oh, Ray now forcing one up. Wow, all right. Oakland's staying in the game with some timely threes. There we go. Leo making his presence felt. There we go. And Leo with the steal. Trying to force it with Drew. It's not going entirely to plan.
Substitution on the court. All right. We're switching the rotation up. Oh, Ricky with the foul. I think we'll go with these guys for a minute or two and then go back to our stars. Fill up, wide open. Can't make him pay. Probably should attack the rim. Makes up for it, though. Jalen, fast break. Can't finish. Timeout. Calling timeout. The urgency the urgency is just not there. Put Seth in instead of cool, but this is the group we're going with. I don't know why Max hasn't been in the game. Deep three. Nope. Gone cold. The whole team's gone cold. This 2-3 is really making it tough on us. Drew, a little frustration foul. Still just his first of the half. All right, let's see what we can do. Oh! Seth thought he picked the pocket. It's a nice swap from Leo. Max, putting one up, banging it home. I don't know if the pull out fast break three is always the best decision. Not super in rhythm, but we'll take the points. Here we go. Should be another easy two. All of a sudden, it's an eight-point lead, and we're pressing. It's a good shot. All right, we're going to hold tight. Try to put this one up with as little time left as possible. Dave.
I was trying not to leave any time for them to get a go get off a good attempt, but Max got a little fancy with the passing. This 2-3, two, 3-2, three, three, two, whatever it is, has been tough to break down. Oh my goodness, and Seth's missing the easy ones. Alright, team's really got to lock in. See what we got to bring. I'm sitting up in my chair. Wow. We're having a tough time here. Oh, I thought I was going to get the strip. Ricky second of the evening. Oh, they're going to call a shooting foul. I don't know about that, ref. My goodness. We got to be able to call timeout. When we get the, whenever we get the ball, we're calling timeout. Or, yeah, we'll call timeout now. No subs. Points of emphasis. Ball control. Pressure. We're going to start pressing after baskets. We've done that before and it's helped us. For a second there, I thought, I was like, what's going on? All right, let's try something different. Ricky, yes, sir. Big shot, Rick. Seth taking it inside with the finish. A little jab step into a finish. All right. Come on. Come on, guard him. 
Come guard Ricky. Oh, Max can't finish inside. We're swarming now. We're playing with some intensity. Oh, thought Ricky was going to put another one in. They're not going to give us that one. Nope. Oh. There we go right now. Man, this game's a little bit closer than it feels. Let's give Brandon some minutes. Let's see. If moving Drew to a small forward can kind of unlock him. Here, we gotta get him an easy dunk. No! Okay. I thought I was going for the dunk animation and he decided that he was going to shoot the pull up oh nice shot Oh, hit the backboard. Got to throw it low, Philip.
Wow. Oakland just keeps hitting shots. All right. There we go. Giving him an opportunity to run. Ends up with the easy dunk. Let's see what the stats look like. I'm just curious. Rick even pouring it in. Drew's got 10. I mean, he's not shooting horribly. Bring Ricky back in. Let's bring Leo back in. There's just too many guys on this team that can that can play. Can't bring Drew out after that dunk. I feel like I'm getting him going. Man, I think he was our best three-point shooter last year. And now, I mean, last two games, just haven't been able to get him to drop. Probably bad release is part of it, but. Wow. Oakland staying alive with threes. Get in there. Big three-point opportunity. There's a big dunk. Oh, oh he should have finished that one. Gets the block. But that really needs that really needs to be a finish. Slightly early. Yeah, really struggling with the release. Come on, get in there. Dave gets fouled. Nice rebound, though. that one to drop getting rewarded for hitting four consecutive I don't think any of them were perfect releases that one was though now we're up 10 Oh, now Oakland's getting and ones. Substitution. 
Alright, making some changes. Going small. Oh, I don't know why on earth that registered as a as a bounce pass. Let's see if we can just work off of a screen. Oh my god, another huge shot. Unbelievable. Oh! Rick tries to go up and shoot. Oh, it gets steal, no! Turns it right back over. I saw that one going up. Get in there. No. Ricky can't buy a bucket. Oh, all right. We're calling timeout. I think we got to get our starters back in the game. I think Dave's got to play the two. He's just so composed. Drew almost finishing. Thought he was going to go for the dunk. Makes the first. This would be a great way to overcome the tough night he's kind of had these last two nights. Makes both. Those were big free throws. All right, try to force the entry pass. It's all tied up. Too many easy buckets. Oh, yes, big shot from Seth. You know you can count on him for that. Pretty consistently. There we go. Slow it down. Oh, Seth sort of had other ideas there for a second. Two 
That's wide open. Oh, in and out. All right, minute 38. Nelson is not giving up ground inside. Oh, big finish for Oakland. Big, big finish. Seth, need a shot. No. All right. A little over 30, se 30 seconds left. I believe we got fouls to give. Oh, pull up. Big rebound. Big rebound from Drew. And in comes Ricky. I think for free throw purposes. Oh, we're running away from him. Can Ricky just get himself in the corner? There we go. Just took five seconds off the clock. They need to foul a little more quickly than that. All right, four seconds. Opportunity for Ricky to make two and uh, make it a three-point game. Perfect release. All right. I think I want our defensive lineup in there. Some of these guys haven't played a whole lot tonight, but. Max, just throwing it up. Letting time expire. That was a heads up play. That was just a heads up play. Just throw it, whipping it to the other end of the court, taking the last second of the clock, not letting himself get fouled. That's what we like to see. Let's take a look at our stats. We can look at Oakland's first. Sneed had a really nice game. Good had a nice game. Everybody else, not so much, but, man, they were making us pay from the three-point line. Yeah, some nice numbers. The away team, Ricky had a nice night. Drew, not a very efficient night, but ended up with 14-7. Only one turnover. Not the worst game in the world. It's kind of ripping on him. Now I feel bad. Ricky had 14, made four threes, Seth seven, Max only had, uh, Max went two for 11, I had no idea, only five points on the night, not a good game, Leo four and six, Dave, we really struggled, I, that, that was a pretty poor performance, it, it shouldn't have been a three point game. We really struggled with that 3-2 uh, that they were running on us. All right. What I'm going to do here is I am going to sim us into the recruiting commitment window. We'll sim to the end of that just to see. We'll, we'll sim through the signing period just to see kind of what it ends up looking like for us. So we'll sim past the Oakland game. The recruit signing period has started. All right. Let's make sure we're spending all our points. We only have one scholarship offered. That is to Joe Attaway. I think I'm comfortable. 
offering a second scholarship. Okay. Uh, I read that wrong. We have two scholarships offered, one available. Got it. All right, with Sim, past this day, past the visits, into next week. Number 15 target, Walt Skeeter, sign with somebody else. Number 12 target, sign with somebody else. Number 8 target, number 14 target. All right, so our board is changing a little bit, and that is totally fine. None of our top guys committed anywhere else. Wow, Mambolette, Iowa, good for him. We are going to remove him. Worthington got a Purdue offer. Let's remove him. Armand Granger is going to uh, Detroit is going to a rival. Walt Skeeter's going to Minnesota. So we got guys getting big ten offers. We can't fault them for taking those. Let's throw around the points, see if we can bring anybody up to 100% and potentially get a commitment. So Attaway, we'll do a home visit with uh, Coach Boykins. Do another home visit with Ernesto Radford. And we'll do a home visit with Leo Wren. So we're Leo's number one school now. Okay, that's awesome. Following the visit. Everybody else, we're going to make sure we at least give a call. Is there anybody, can we like go scout Webster? Okay, we'll scout him. Get on the phone with everybody. We'd be stupid not to. And also just emailing everybody. I mean... Emailing is free, basically. All right, and once we've gone through everybody on this list, potentially we'll have to add some more recruits on here. Potentially. All right. Let's get through all these trips. Let's see if anybody is uh, getting close to ready to commit. Oh. Well, we're one for Attaway. We're one for Ren. I would be open to taking both as freshmen and redshirting one of them just to get them in separate classes as opposed to taking a junior college player. Might need to get some more small forwards on the board. I wouldn't be opposed to doing that. I mean, I really like Ren's game. Attaway's a good player, too. Ernesto Radford, though. I mean, he's only a Juco freshman.
but let's see if we offer Ren the scholarship if it gets us up to 100. Yep. So that gives us, he's pro, he'll probably commit. And I'm okay with that. Before we get to this uh, little rock game. I'm going to make sure Tremaine Galloway at least gets in the roster. for it all right a win awesome there we go drew having a really nice night 25 and 11 very efficient made both his threes max as well not as efficient but still a really nice all-around night ricky had a good game seth had a good game leo had a good game that's awesome good to see I'm going to send us all the way up to the Michigan game. So, all right, last day of recruiting. We're going to sim through that. I don't think we can do anything else. Just pray. Leo Wren, I knew we'd get him. That's awesome. Petey Giddens, sign with somebody else. You should replace him. All right, Leo Ren is coming. We didn't get the most intel on him in terms of scouting. Obviously, like we locked in that he's pretty much B's across the board, some B minuses, but I like his game. So I guess that keeps us. We'll, we'll keep continuing after Attaway. We probably Yeah, I'm gonna probably I'll keep Johnson on the board, but we're definitely gonna need to add some small forwards to the board. That's fine. I'll probably end up doing that off stream. So, but I'm excited that we got our first recruit in the uh, first signing window. So, all right, we got the Loyola game. I'm going to sim through this one as well. But the reason we're playing this one is I think Loyola is in the horizon in this game. Yeah. Zach Stone committed there last year. We were trying to get Zach. Thought he was a pretty good point guard prospect. I don't think he's as good as I thought he was. But uh, he ended up committing to Loyola. So we're going to make him pay for that decision. Hopefully. There we go. Yeah, we did. Another big win. Max having a nice game. Drew having a nice game. Leo having a good game. Ricky, another, I mean, no. Oh, <laughs> Efficiency-wise, no. Ricky puts the ball up. That's one thing you can say about him. All right. And that's going to be it for our stream. Next time, we might have a double header. We might be playing dedicated. Have you landed a five-star? I have not. They do have Mr. Basketball players. I've not landed a five-star yet. I landed a four-star last year. So that was... Uh, a world, a world four star. Last year was the first season, so I've heard it's a little easier to land those like world four stars, which is uh, I targeted them. I think every single recruit I landed last year was a world recruit. But if you got any tips for me, let me know. Um, I think this game is a blast. I haven't played two K eight, but this one's a ton of fun. Anyways, that uh, that's gonna wrap up my stream. Sorry. Uh, SD61 Nina, 
I uh, popped in here pretty late. But I'm wrapping it up. I had a ton of fun, though. I appreciate everybody getting ran right now by Miami. I totally forgot that game was tonight. I need to go check on that. But uh, I appreciate y'all tuning in. I will uh, probably be back tomorrow night. Um, if not, I will be back later this week. But I, uh, I appreciate y'all for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace.